Hi, my name's Nick and welcome to the Rig and Farm YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how my wife Ashley and I built this hydroponic system out of some very simple materials. We started by using a two and a quarter inch hole saw to cut into three inch diameter PVC pipe. To use this bit, you drill forward until the teeth of the saw hit the pipe. Then you drill in reverse to saw through. The circular piece of PVC gets stuck in the hole saw, but it can be pried out pretty easily by hand. Occasionally needle nose pliers are needed. This hydroponic system will use eight 10 foot lengths of three inch PVC pipe. Six of those pipes will have six inch spacing between the centers of the holes, and two of the pipes will have nine inch spacing. Most vegetables grown require six, nine, or 12 inch spacing, so this setup will allow us to grow pretty much anything that does well hydroponically. While I was drilling all 146 holes, Ashley went behind me and used a pocket knife to clean up the rough edges. This took us about two hours to finish. We had tall grass and several weeds growing where we wanted to set up our hydroponics and aquaponics system, so I hopped onto the lawnmower to knock everything down. We laid out some pipe to determine where we wanted our posts that support the pipes, set about 7 feet apart, and began drilling with our 6 inch auger. I hit a root and couldn't pull it out, because the auger doesn't have a reverse function. We've removed the pin and used a tent stake to manually reverse the auger. That worked surprisingly well. The next hole went much more smoothly. Ashley pulled out the dirt that fell back in by hand. The hole is almost two feet deep, so she struggled a little to get all the way to the bottom. Now to set the eight foot landscape timbers. This three by four inch pressure treated lumber is an affordable alternative to using four by fours. We used this neat little level to ensure it was perfectly aligned. I used the handle on our tamper to backfill and pack the dirt into the hole. This will help keep the post from getting out of alignment. Once all but the last few inches had been done, I used the tamper as the manufacturer intended. Backfilling with dirt is cheaper than using concrete, and it'll actually help with the longevity of the lumber, whereas concrete would hold onto moisture in the ground and cause the wood to rot much faster. We set four posts total because we plan on building two identical hydroponic systems side by side that will run off of the same pump. We've only done one for now. The pipes will be hung with galvanized steel straps, so we measured and marked where we needed to drill the top screw for each one. Ashley cut lengths of the strap while I marked the posts. These wire cutters weren't the best tool for the job, but they worked. Two two-inch decking screws were put into each hanger. A third screw held the pipe in place. Using two 90-degree elbows was actually cheaper than one 180-degree elbow for the turns. There we go. We used a garden hose to run water through the pipes to check for leaks and had to go back and add Teflon tape at each connection. Now to dig a hole for our water reservoir. These 27 gallon totes you see everywhere are useful for so many things. 
We cut a piece of 2 inch PVC pipe for the drain pipe that'll be attached to the 3 inch pipe with a reducer. Time to break out the hole saw again. PVC pipe diameters are measured on the inside, so we had to cut the hole a little bigger for the pipe to fit into the lid. Like a glove! This barb will be attached to the tubing coming from the water pump in the reservoir. We drilled a hole into an end cap and used food grade silicone to keep it in place without leaking. A hose clamp secured the tubing. Now to get the water pump set up. Don't forget to put in the rubber gasket! A nickel works surprisingly well if you don't have a big enough flathead screwdriver. Two small holes were drilled for the tubing and power cord that was run under the deck to an outlet. We put about 20 gallons of water into the reservoir and then added 2 gallons of compost tea to provide nutrients for the vegetables. We installed a valve in the event we need to reduce the amount of water going into the pipes. About an inch of water flows through the bottom of each pipe before returning to the reservoir. It takes 35 seconds for the water to make a round trip. We transplanted several pre-sprouted veggies into plastic cups filled with expanded clay pebbles. We have kale, chard, cabbage, bok choy, collard greens, and many other vegetables in here. Holes were burned into the cups to allow water in to hydrate the growing media. See the healthy root growth? We also experimented with dollar store pool noodles instead of the expensive and labor-intensive cups and pebbles. Now that is some serious root growth. Cup and pebbles? Cheap pool noodles. I think we found the clear winner. We've had the hydroponic system running for over a week now and it's doing extremely well. We experienced below freezing temperatures this morning, and because the water reservoir is underground a little bit, the water didn't dip below 46 degrees. Because it's currently October, we chose cold hardy plants to put into this system. They'll do just fine despite the fact that we're going to have below freezing temperatures for the next few mornings. Make sure you subscribe if you don't already to see how these plants go from this size to harvest in just a matter of months. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time!